Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my earliest pregnancy symptoms. I got a positive pregnancy test at 7 DPO, so that's pretty early. The symptoms that I wrote down I will share with you are things that I noticed even before that positive pregnancy test. And then I kept, even after I got a positive, I kept recording my symptoms and keep kept writing them down. In case you're brand new, my name is Erica. I have a five, an almost five year old son, a two year old son, and I'm currently 16 weeks pregnant with baby girl, our first baby girl. Let's get into it. These are the earliest pregnancy symptoms that I experienced. Even before I got a positive pregnancy test, five DPO. And in case you're new to like fertility, pregnancy lingo, um, cycle lingo, DPO stands for days past ovulation. So you ovulate, that's the day that you release an egg. Um, either it gets fertilized by a sperm or it doesn't. If it does get fertilized by a sperm, it starts to travel down your fallopian tube and then implants into the lining in your uterus. And so, that process, the, the process of your little fertilized egg traveling from your fallopian tube or through your fallopian tubes to your uterus, usually for most people takes anywhere from seven to 10 days, but it varies. And I find with, I mean, this was my third pregnancy. I find that my travel day for my little fertilized egg is quite short because I start, I get my positive test really early and my cycles are normally very regular. My cycles are usually 25 to 27 days in length my peer i am um, ovulation usually happens like anywhere between 12 and 14 cycle day 12 and 14 which is like very regular like halfway through and then i you know get my period 12 to 14 days after that so like it's it's all just very regular five dpo so five days past ovulation i were cramping in the morning all day my right ovary was kind of hurting i wrote seven to six dpo 430 stiff uterus now stiff uterus was something that i had experienced as an early pregnancy symptoms with both of my other kids too <laughs> so with all of my pregnancies i've always had this like when i'm pregnant i always my my uterus has felt stiff like it's felt like there's something in there there's something going on like it's it's just stiff whereas when i'm not pregnant like you know like you can push in on your stomach and push in on your uterus seven to eight dpo now i wrote seven slash eight dpo let me just um clarify um because i was a little like that one cycle that that cycle that we got pregnant i was a little unsure of like which day in particular um i had ovulated because i got a like a really positive test at night and then another really positive test in the morning which was a bit unusual for me so this was either seven or eight dpo is what i'm saying here faint positive. I wrote irritable, very little CM, last night vivid dreams. Then I have eight or nine DPO. I wrote have that need to drink, dry mouth feeling all morning. Again, this is another really huge early pregnancy symptom for me is having that dry mouth feeling, having that very thirsty feeling that need to drink. Um, I have to pee every 20 minutes. Boobs and, boobs and nipples feel very sensitive and I still wrote still, still thirsty all the day, all, all the time. <laughs> nine or 10 tpo i wrote vivid dream of having a c-section again but it wasn't scary got positive digital test with my first morning urine on this day i wrote out of breath thirsty dry mouth cramping um, pelvic ligaments uncomfortable so uh, out of breath is another huge one for me that's like a huge sign that i am pregnant i usually feel out of breath very very early um 10 or 11 dpo i wrote nauseous in the morning uterus feels very pregnant having a hard time sleeping on my back so this is like a bit of a weird one um that i don't know maybe just for me <laughs> let me know in the comments if you experience this too but the second that i become pregnant it becomes hard for me to to sleep on my back and obviously when you are you know 10 days past ovulation your baby is like smaller than the head of a pin so it's not the weight of the baby that is causing me or like is, is making me unable to breathe i i'm thinking it's the hormones i don't know but that's usually a huge sign because even now at 16 weeks like it's i can't lay on my back it's just too much i can't feel like i can't breathe so i don't know if that's just the hormones that early in pregnancy that that bring that on or trigger that but that's definitely something that i've noticed throughout my prep like all my pregnancies you know, 11 or 12 dpo i wrote first morning nausea so a huge early pregnancy symptom for me that happened this pregnancy was that i was experiencing nausea in the morning for a little while <laughs> which compared to like the afternoon and evening nausea that i ended up feeling and 
that I felt with both my boys um, was really welcomed. It was really nice and it went away pretty um, soon after like maybe i'd say like there was a few hours in the morning where i'd feel nauseous and then it would go away but that was definitely like a major signal to me like oh my gosh things are happening i'm feeling a little nauseous like how cool is this um 12 or 13 dpi i wrote boobs are definitely fuller so i have um if you are like naturally quite small chested your boobs might be a really great indication of what is going on in your body in early early pregnancy because what i found for me is like Okay, so I had really, um, really small boobs to start. <laughs> and then after breastfeeding two babies, not only were they like super small, but they were also like very deflated. Like TMI, like you don't need to know this, but it's helpful. Then when I got pregnant, or like every time that I've been pregnant after I've been breastfeeding, I found that like they then fill out again. And my chest like just fills out and like everything just fills out more. So that's usually like a huge early pregnancy symptom for me is like I will all of a sudden like just notice that things are filling out a little bit more which is nice <laughs> um I wrote very emotional nauseous in the morning trying to eat consistently 13 or 14 dpo I wrote nauseous in the morning so obviously like nausea in the morning was a huge one I wrote bloated by the end of the day so bloating for me in pregnancy is like so major um and that's been throughout all three of my pregnancies um it is a very early pregnancy symptom for me so especially in the first trimester those first few weeks i find that uh, i will like i won't look pregnant in the morning and then as the day progresses i get more and more bloated and especially in the first trimester it's like wild especially early 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 in the first trimester it's wild like how big my stomach gets it looks like by the end of the day some days i'm like i look 20 weeks pregnant what is happening and then by the morning it goes away so definitely keep an eye on bloating if you are in that two week period or like very early pregnancy symptom definitely keep an eye on bloating um i wrote definitely pregnant um i wrote taught so i'm a, i'm a, a dance teacher taught and noticed a little belly so that was um for me i don't normally like when i'm not pregnant i don't normally bloat unless it's like you know the first day of my period or something i don't normally bloat and i don't normally like feel like if i'm gonna blow it's not normally down by where my uterus is you know like it's it would be a little bit higher up but when i was pregnant or not when i was pregnant when i was really early in my pregnancy i was experiencing a lot of bloating at the end of the day and was looking very large very huge and very uncomfortable it's, it's super uncomfortable those were my earliest earliest like two week weight symptoms i'll now go over what i was experiencing week four which i would still consider like super early pregnancy like you could still potentially not know that you have missed your period yet you're uploaded in the evenings nausea in the morning early afternoon I feel like my boobs are growing nipple sensitivity so a lot of these are like exactly the same as i was experiencing the two-week wait which i think is really interesting shortness of breath during the night weird dreams but not insane i wrote stanley cup is the best all my vitamins and um ordered like nausea ginger sticks and made my pregnancy confirmation appointment so you'll see week four still experiencing a lot of the same symptoms that i was experiencing during my two week wait slash after I found out that I was pregnant. And then I'll just, I'll, I'll throw in week five in there, why not? I wrote nausea and bursts in the morning, starving at night, craving healthy foods like salad and cucumber and contacted my endocrinologist. Okay, so I started craving, this is like a huge one too for early pregnancy that I experienced again in like all my pregnancies, um, craving really healthy foods, craving like really, um, water rich foods like cucumber and straw strawberries i think strawberries are rich in water sorry my eyes bother me um just craving a food that has a lot of water in it like a lot of water content and and yeah i just remember like really craving the healthiest foods possible all right guys and those are all of my earliest pregnancy symptoms so we're talking super early and i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you found it helpful if you experienced any like super early pregnancy symptoms any like, weird early pregnancy symptoms um unique different definitely let us know in the comments down below i'm sure i know when i was in the to a great period or like waiting to find out um watching videos like this was super helpful and just it feels nice to to feel like you're part of a community don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.